Hi guys and welcome to the first subscriber's opinion. Most of you have a really great view on the game and on certain weapons. And to thank you for all your great comments, I invited somebody who made an awesome contribution either by helping somebody else or by sharing his own opinion to have the opportunity to share his own words with you guys. For this video I have invited Michael and today he is going to share his own opinion about the Guerrero M95. The weapon that you will see today is the Guerrero M95 Carbine. Instead of making a specific weapon video I will share the stats with you but they are an exact copy of the Guerrero M95 Marksman which you will see over here. The only differences are the optics, the magnification, the spread and the fact that the carbine is shorter. The Guerrero M95 carbine has 50% less spread for ADS moving and 33% less hip base spread when you're not moving. I will show you the stats throughout the video so without further ado here is Michael's opinion about the Guerrero M95. There are several primary weapons in the scout's arsenal that can accomplish the aggressive scout role and each one offers different strengths and weaknesses for this purpose. So we will start by looking at the Guerrero M95, compare its variants and we will compare it with a few other guns in the class. The M95 rifle is amongst the best options for a scout who likes to play relatively close to the action. Let's first discuss where the M95 falls short. The weapon lacks one important feature that many scout weapons in Battlefield 1 have going for them, a sweet spot. You will only deal a maximum of 90 damage unless you achieve a headshot, which is a one shot kill at all ranges. Also its muzzle velocity of 620 is a bit on the slow side, so if you decide to use the M95 at longer ranges you may need to lead your target a bit more. With those downsides out of the way, let's talk about what the M95 rifle has going for it. The M95 offers a rate of fire of 66 rounds per minute, which among the bolt action rifles in this game is quite good. The gun only has a 5 round mag, but this is fairly standard among sniper rifles. But you may feel like you're going through it quite fast given the higher rate of fire, especially if you're accustomed to the 10 round mag of the SMLE. It also allows you to continue aiming down sights between shots, while every other rifle in the game requires you to come out of ADS to chamber the next round. This benefit better allows you to track your target and to make adjustments. Also, while the M95 has no sweet spot, its damage of 90 is higher than the non-sweet spot damage of other rifles. So between the variants of the M95, which one would I choose? I generally toss out the infantry variants as the only benefit is recoil decrease, which is one of questionable value with any weapon, let alone a bolt action rifle. The carbine offers between 1.25 to 2.5 times magnification and much better hip spread accuracy, while the marksman offers a minimum magnification of 2.5 but can magnify up to 4 times. Which for range shooting is ideal since that is the maximum magnification you can have without being subject to scope glint. So which one do I prefer? My recommended playstyle is a hyper aggressive PTFO. I may not want to be the first guy in but my spotting flare will be followed by the assault players and then everybody else. With that in mind, I don't feel the need for the 4 times magnification. While ideally I wouldn't run into an enemy face to face, it will happen. When it does, the hipfire accuracy will be something you'll be glad to have, along with a backup pistol that offers a good deploy time and a fast rate of fire to finish off the guy who just did 90 damage too. So what other weapons could be used by the aggressive scout? The list includes the SMLE, the Martini Henry, the 1895 Trench and the 1903 Experimental. Of these, the 1903 Experimental isn't really a true option as the statistics let it down in every way and I anticipate a massive buff for the gun at some point. The SMLE with its bigger mag and faster muzzle velocity along with the sweet spot may appeal to the scout who wants a bit more flexibility in their gun and may sit back just a bit from the objective sometimes. The 1895 trench offers the fastest time to kill of any scout weapons. Though its mag is only 5 so a backup weapon will be important and it has worse range statistics than the M95. The 1895 trench is the closest a scout is going to get to a run and gun weapon until the 1903 experimental is fixed. Lastly we have the Martini Henry, which is a weapon of extremes. Compared to the M95 the Martini has the slowest rate of fire in the game, as well as the slowest muzzle velocity compared to the bolt action rifles. Its one saving grace is that it offers the closest sweet spot at 30 meters, so if you're accurate and can keep your foes in their sweet spot range then this would be your weapon of choice. 
The M95 is one of my favorite options of all the four mentioned rifles and if you can work past its shortcomings compared to its cousin, the SMLE, an aggressive scout can get a lot of work done with the M95. Okay guys, this was Michael's opinion. Can you let me know in the comments if you would like to see more videos like this and more importantly, do you agree with Michael? This was Michael and Fog of Gaming. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the battlefield.